Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about tags in ServiceNow. How useful are they for your end user and for yourself as well? Tagging is very underrated functionality of ServiceNow, and I think it can be used much more often to help users categorize their own records. In this video, we will be discussing about what are tags, why do we need them, how to create tags, and how to edit tags, and finally. how to change visibility of the tags if you want to skip to any particular topic the links are mentioned in the description welcome to my youtube channel my name is hardeep singh i am a service now consultant located in new delhi in india i have 12 years of id experience 9 plus years of experience in service now development and consulting i have worked on various modules like itsm virtual agent cmdb asset management and many many integrations and i have also worked on custom applications i love to play on playstation with my son we usually play need for speed or some other car game and i go with my friends to play snooker and you can please connect with me on linkedin twitter or youtube or just drop me an email my email is mentioned in the description as well okay the definition of tags this is the dictionary definition of tags so tags are label attached to someone or something for the purpose of identification or to give other information what that means is if you went to a store or to a mall and you see some t-shirts and they are always segregated by small medium large excel and so on so those are tags which help categorize what are the small size t-shirts what are the medium size t-shirts what are the large ones so you check each and every t-shirt of your size and only pick up them correct similarly what are tags in service now tags are text labels again they are labels which we can use to categorize or organize records in service now so like we were organizing t-shirts according to the size here in service now we will be categorizing our records which belong to us or maybe to some specific team or maybe to some specific incident so you can create those tags and tag those records in service now so in this screenshot if you see if i created a tag called network and i attach it to the incident right so i will be knowing there is a network team working on this particular incident or they had worked on that and if i want to bring up all the records in service now where they had worked for example incident change or any custom table or anything i would go ahead and tag them and then pull out a report through tags okay this is where they had worked on similarly we can do for major incidents or if you want to create your own personal tag for your understanding in service now that these tickets belong to me or i have to work them on tomorrow or they are priority or anything you can use tags next why do we need tags so we can use tags to see all related records at one place which we discussed and then secondly it's easier to manage records with the same context again if we create a tag we can manage all the records to that particular context how to create tags in service now so there are three ways how can you create them the first one is through the list view second is the form view and this is through the navigation the third one we'll go one by one and i will jump to service now and we will create one quickly through our list view so we are in service now i am logged in as an itil user i have impersonated that and we are in the yuta version which was launched recently so i have procured a new service now instance from the developer website if you want to know how to get a new service now instance please click on the top right corner i'll go here on the incident list i'll type incident dot list and first of all we will see how to create tags through the list view for that what i will do is i will click here on the personalized list columns and then i will bring a field called tags which is already present on all the tables so you don't have to create this manually anywhere and i'll click okay after i 
zoom out a bit and I've clicked OK now and we see a new column has come up here and there are no tags there but if I click here and I want to create a new tag for example I can create demo Hardit 1 and I press enter it will create a new tag for me so this tag is now created if I want to tag any other record for example the next one I will just type demo and it will come up as demo Hardit 1 so this is the first way how can you create tags through list view next I can go into the this record and I will create a new tag through our form view on the top if you see there are three dots called more options if I click here we see a button to add a new tag I will click here and I can say demo Hardit 2 so and I'll press enter and this is a new tag created and this record is also tagged to demo Hardit 2 so now this record has two tags demo 1 and demo 2 and the third way is my tags and if I click here under self service my tags we will see there are already few tags which are created out of the box but the ones saying demo Hardit 1 and demo Hardit 2 were just created now I'll go ahead and create a new one here by clicking new and I can say demo Hardit 3 and I am the owner I am ITL user and it is viewable just by me right now we will see the other option later I'll submit this I'll go back to the incident view I'll click here on more options and I will try to search for that demo Hardit 3 tag and here it is and I have again tagged this particular record with the three tags if we go to the incident list we should be able to see all of these tags again as well if I typed incident dot list and here this particular record 9009 has these three tags so this is how you can create your own tags in service now now we will see how can we edit our tags I'll go again to service now and I'm on the screen from self service my tags and here I can see all of my tags I'll go ahead and try to edit this demo Hardit one tag and the name I can give is maybe ITIL user tickets and then I can maybe make it visible for few set of users or groups so it depends on the requirement if you want to provide visibility of this tag to your team or to some other team you can go ahead and do that or maybe to some individual users so I'll go ahead and share this tag for example with system admin I'll click here and I will save this one thing which I forgot to tell you is under this related list you will be able to see all the entries where this tag is used for example in this incident moving on I will log in as system admin so I will end impersonation and we should be able to see this ITIL tag on that particular record and we will also see an interesting thing I will bring the tag column here if I scroll up a bit and say OK we are able to see ITL user tickets tag here which was renamed to the same incident which ITL user had tagged to him but one interesting thing is even the system admin is not able to see any other tags which were created and tagged here so the Hardit Singh 2 tag and Hardit 3 tags they are not visible to anyone else other than the ITL user itself so until and unless they share it with other people nobody else would be able to see those tags so that's one very cool thing about tags which I love the most now since you have stuck 
to the last of the video we will see how can we merge tags in service now this is also a very interesting functionality where we will be merging two tags let's go back to service now and log in as itl user again i'll just impersonate as itl quickly and now i will go to the incident list again and i will tag this record as demo hardit 2 and maybe another one as demo hardit 2 again and one interesting thing which you also would have seen is you don't have to save these records separately once you click outside they are saved even if i refresh this page you would be able to see those tags okay and now for that just go ahead to my tags and we'll select demo hardit 2 and it il user tickets and then click here on actions and we see a button called merge tags i will click here on merge tags and it is asking me to merge into which tag so i'll click here it will make, give me the options of other tags which are already in the system for example, I will merge these to demo hardit 3 and I will say OK. Now you see the other two tags ITL user tag and the demo hardit 2 tag is not available anymore because it has been merged into demo hardit 3. Now I will go again to incident.list and we should be able to see the new tag only. Now all the incidents where we had tagged those tags, now they have been changed to demo hardit 3 because we have merged them. So this is a very interesting functionality. And finally I would like to show you one more thing about tags is if you go here and click on my tag documents under self service, you would be able to see a view where it will show you all the tags which you had created and those documents which are related to that as well. We will give it a second to load. We had created demo hardit 3 tag here. If I click on this, it will show me all these three documents here. And for example, now if I go to change underscore request dot list and I will tag change records as well. I'll bring the tags here and maybe I will tag two or three records so that we can see those results under my tag documents as well. So demo. I will search for my tag demo hard the three maybe this one and maybe this one okay I'll go here again I'll refresh the screen and if you see here we are able to see those change tickets as well this will be applicable to all of the tables even if you have a custom table and you have tagged that record to your tag you would be able to see those records here as well I hope this video was helpful to you and you will be using these tags effectively and if you have any questions related to tags, please let me know in the comments. I will surely get back to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit like button. Thank you.